Hey everyone, Alan here with DutsyHikers.com and I just want to share with you guys today an amazing hike that you can do uh, if you find yourself in Florence, Italy. Um, I am in Italy. I did finally make it here. Uh, we've been here for about six months and it's been everything that we hoped that it would be. All right, so this is a 2.5 mile hike that is within easy range of Florence, Italy. There's a lot of hikes like this around Florence. This is my absolute favorite. Uh, you can get on a city bus from the train station, in this case it's the 7 bus, and you can be at the trailhead within 20 or 30 minutes, and then it's just a 2.5 mile loop, and it's also where Leonardo da Vinci tested one of his flying machines. Okay, so first off, uh, if you're in Florence, you might not be thinking about hiking in particular. You're probably thinking about the Duomo, you're probably thinking about the David, you're probably thinking about the Uffizi. And trust me, after a couple days in Florence with hordes of tourists, I think that you need to go on this hike. How do you get there? Uh, you just have to take the 7 bus. It's, the ci it's a city bus. Uh, you can get it at the train station. You can get it at multiple points in the city. You just want to get make sure you're getting it in the direction that's going towards Fiesole. F-I-E-S-O-L-E. -E. Um, that's actually where I live now. So it's about a 20 to 25 minute bus ride. You take it to the end of the line, which is in Italian is Capolinia. You get off there in Piazza Mino, and then you have different ways that you can get to the, the, the hike portion of this walk. But um, all of it's beautiful. You walk through the, uh, the town of Fiesole, which is a hilltop town, which is where the Etruscans lived, which predated the Romans. Um, and it's just absolutely, it's relatively flat. I mean, there is some elevation gain. Um, I would say it's a moderate to easy hike just because it's so short. So one of the important things on this hike is that there are sort of trails leading everywhere. Um, there's maps that you can download. I'll probably link some in the description. Uh, but one of the things um, in Italy that you need to know if you're hiking on trails is the uh, CAI or the, the Italian Alpine Club, CAI. They have the system of marking trails. In this case, it's a, wet, a red and a white um, blaze. And so if you are at a fork in the road at, at a certain point, in this case, you're always gonna have an indication telling you how to get to, uh, on, how to stay on this hike. Um, so the, 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 the red and the white stripes might actually take you in a different direction, but it'll be well, it's well marked. Monte Cecidi has a lot of historic uh, importance for Florence and for Fiesole. Um, it was the main uh, Pietra Serena quarry for many of the monuments that are in Florence. In fact, if you uh, are on the Arno River in Florence and you see the National Library, the columns that are in front of the National Library were quarried from uh, Monte Cecidi, or the it's also referred to as the Cave di Maiano or the uh, the quarry of Maiano. This is extremely uh, beautiful stone. It's kind of like a sandstone, but it's it's kind of a grayish blue, and uh, it's it's you'll you'll find it in most of the uh, palaces in Florence, probably like the. Uh, the handrail for the stairs or the stairs themselves will be made of this. Sometimes even the, the pavement in the courtyards of palaces is made from this stone. It's called Pietra Serena. And on the Monte Cecidi hike, there's some really nice features along the way um, that are also translated into English that it kind of explains the history of these quarries, um, how people worked there, where they lived, what kind of work that they did in bringing this uh, beautiful stone to uh, Fiesole and also to Florence and even further afield. There's also some uh, wonderful features that have been carved out of Pietra Serena and then placed along the way. One of my favorites is the, uh, the USS Enterprise from Star Trek. You can see it and it's juxtaposed next to some kind of Leonardo da Vinci uh, helicopter looking flying contraption. But I think the real fun thing about this hike, and especially if you bring children, is that this is supposedly where Leonardo da Vinci tested uh, some of his flying machines. There's references to this in some writings, and so we're pretty confident that Leonardo chose this spot uh, to test his flying, uh, flying machines, probably jumping off in the southerly direction going towards Florence. Um, it's quite steep up there. Um, but it's well marked and there's there's guardrails, so there's really very little risk of falling. Like a lot of hikes in Italy, you might turn around and then see a house uh, or you'll see um, you know a stone wall or something like that. It's hard to get away from humanity in Italy on hikes, uh, but the hike is absolutely beautiful. It's wonderful. 
you you hike up through some uh, oak or um, ilex tree groves mixed with some uh, cypress trees and some pine trees and then you'll wind your way up and you'll get up to uh, the Piazza Le Leonardo I think is what it's called and that's just a big open area if you bring a sandwich you could have a lunch there I used to do that with students in the past it's a it's a nice open area when the weather's nice it's it's absolutely beautiful beautiful up there if you want to do the loop uh, you would just continue on um, in, in a circle and you'll wind up sort of back in Fiesole uh, it's a little bit of a labyrinth but if you have GPS on your phone or a navigator on your phone it's pretty easy you just need to work your way back to Piazza Le, uh, to you just need to work your way back to Piazza Mino so if you're in Florence and you're feeling uh, overwhelmed by the hordes of tourists like I do since I work in Florence every day this Monte Cecchiri hike at Fiesole is an absolute must. It's a really a great way to kind of change the pace on your vacation and do something else outdoors in, in nature. All right, so for those of you who follow my channel, uh, you know that lately I have been testing a lot of hiking shoes. Um, I just purchased more hiking shoes and so I'm coming out with those videos very soon. Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, please subscribe, use that as a bookmark. Uh, so I'll be producing a video called best hiking shoe of 2023 where I test five different hiking shoes put them through the dusty hikers advanced footwear research laboratory and then share the results with you guys and pick the winner all right I look forward to seeing you guys in the near future bye